Hey yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another Avatar The Last Airbender video. Here we're gonna be getting into episode five through eight. If you'd like to see my full-length reaction to this series, other series I do, movies I do, you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon. But with all that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and get into Avatar The Last Airbender, y'all. Let's get it. I used to always come here to visit my friend Bo They have buildings here that don't melt. That design is amazing. It could be dangerous if people find out you're the Avatar. Oh yeah, you don't want the Fire Nation to come over here. Oh, so itchy. <laughs> that just lets you know you need to wash them. No, let's get to skipping, young whippersnappers. The big city awaits. <laughs> the people here are the friendliest in the world. I don't know about that anymore. <laughs> oh, my cabbages. <laughs> I think I've seen something like that on TikTok. This dude is like a running joke or something. Stick your business. <laughs> my business is my business, young man. I've got to have a mind to bend you over my knee and pay Oh, boy. Yo, that's too into character. Remember, we're not sneaking by. If you're loud and annoying, psychologically, people don't notice you. Pippin Petalopsicopolis, the third. <laughs> Hi, June Pippin Petalopsicopolis. I wouldn't be able to remember that freaking name. So, yo, she did a good job. Show some respect for the elderly and carry your grandfather's back. Idea. <laughs> At least they got their priority straight here. I guess they still are uh, nice and respectable here. Miles and miles of tubes and shoots. Ooh, that's so cool. But my friend Boomy found a better use for these shoots. Look around you. What do you see? Ooh, I know damn well that boy still ain't alive. I'm gonna tell him. Don't you dare. The world's greatest super slide. Boomy, you're a mad genius. <laughs> He's like, I'm definitely a mad. <laughs> now that I'm here, I'm starting to have seconds. I mean, while we're here, why don't we train uh, earthbending? It's important that you be prepared for anything. <laughs> Yo, they're doing a lot with this show. I was not expecting them to do, bro. Use your Oh, hell no, nah, bro. You trying to kill me. <laughs> Boy, I would have been peeing on myself. Oh! Hoo -hoo! <laughs> Sorry! I love when movies and shows do that. Hey, we see him again already? My cabbages! <laughs> Two cabbages, please. <laughs> I remember seeing someone on TikTok and a lot of the people in the comments was like, they hope that he will be in the live action. This is a malicious destruction of cabbages. Off with their heads, one for each head of cabbage. My goodness, bro, chill out. <laughs> it's only cabbages. The dude looks familiar. Oh, that's his homeboy. Throw them. <gasps> a feast. His homeboy running this whole thing with his crazy self. So I hope you like your chicken with no- Well, I don't like it no more. You just put your freaking hand all up on it, bro. I bet you like meat. Damn, pause. <laughs> oh, kangaroo Island, eh? I hear that place is really hopping. Oh, yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Was it, though? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the Avatar. Dang, bro, you just couldn't catch it with your hands? Let us leave. Let us leave? Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> now that one was funny. Oh, the Avatar will face three deadly challenges. He did say he was newly refurbished. Shoot, it's probably nice until you lay on them freaking stone beds, bro. And hurt your damn back and your hip. I need you to find Appa and bust us out of here. Go on, boy. Get Appa. That boy eat too damn much, bro. You gotta put him on a treadmill. Hey, your staff, please. Shoot, I would have hit him with the Gandalf, bro. I need my staff. I want your honest opinion. That shit looked tacky. <laughs> I guess it's fine. You passed the first test. Really? Not one of the deadly <laughs> tests. Damn, I guess I would have failed. <laughs> Those delightful rings are made of pure genomite. By nightfall, your friends will be completely covered in it. It seems I've lost my lunchbox, kid. Ooh, there it is. Man, who put that thing right there in the first place? I mean, well, yeah, y'all probably could cover it with earth, so. <laughs> Oh, that stuff was close going up there. Damn, bro. Water current is so strong, you can't even do like a Moses thing or something. Oh, he did it. 
There, enjoy your lunch. Seems I've lost my pet Flopsy. Yo, I don't trust that. Yo, what the hell is... Flopsy, wait! Flopsy! I, I think Flopsy is the big one. Flopsy? Ah! Oh, <laughs> I had a feeling, bro. Boy, got him a workout in. That boy tired as hell. Other than the crystals slowly encasing my entire body? Dang, that's happening quick. It, you may choose your opponent. My goodness, bro. They look too easy. Choose wisely. You. You chose poorly. Dang, that boy fixed his posture. There we go. Yeah, I remember this dude. Yo. Can I fight the guy with the axe instead? <laughs> there are no takebacksies in my kingdom. Yeah, I definitely would have said the exact same thing. Like, uh, I'm sorry, I underestimated you, bro. Have any of y'all ever played that uh Avatar The Last Airbender computer game? I forget what it was on. I don't know if it was on Mini Clips. Shoot, I haven't said Mini Clip in a minute. Or I don't know if it was on the Nickelodeon website, bro. But it was like a fighting game, I think. And I think that's what I remember this dude from. Because I used to play as the Earthbender. Did someone leave the windows open? Are you hoping I'll catch a cold? <laughs> this boy having so much fun with this character. Ooh. How are you going to get me from way over there? About to use my avatar power, bro. What, he can do the sand too? Okay. <laughs> Got him. Ooh, they are doing such a good job with this freaking action scene, this fight scene, whatever. Ooh, that's so smart. Okay. <laughs> this dude is a very smart opponent, man. Now, you must answer one question. It better not be a riddle. Bro, I don't like your hairstyle, bro. What? Is my name. <laughs> um, bro, I wouldn't be able to guess his name. He's an earthbender, right? Rocky. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody cough like really. <laughs> Boomy, you're a mad genius. It's good to see you. Oh yeah, I forget that little kid's name, bro. His best friend or whatever. Genomite is made of rock candy. See, I remember that line. Oh my God. Dang, so how old are you, bro? So I guess we were the same age. So he's the 112. But before we leave. I would have had him train me, bro. Like you my old best friend, bro. <laughs> oh, <my cabbages. laughs> Where do you keep getting these cabbages from? Yo, there we go. Episode five, man. That was amazing. Yo, this these last two episodes have been fantastic. Let's go ahead and get episode six, y'all. Now back to the show. And some rock-shaped nuts. Might just be rocks. That boy Momo gonna eat them. His hungry ass. What was that? Boy, he's starting some stuff, bruh. Oh, shit, I remember this. Okay, there we go. So I've seen a little bit of episode one. I've seen the last episode and I've seen a little bit of this episode so far. Like, of course, the episode's not done yet. Okay. But like I said, I haven't seen the whole season or whatever, bro. Like, I only seen a couple of scenes, bro. Maybe we're near a village, which means no nuts for dinner. I worked hard to get those nuts. These nuts. Pause. <laughs> you must have me confused with some other kid. No, she doesn't. I mean, you're the only one with the cool hairstyle. They're crazy, Mom. Look at how they're dressed. Oh, you can't be talking, bro. This fit fire, bro. This is Louie. They just had to come into this freaking place. <laughs> what do you want? The tax just doubled. And we wouldn't want an accident, would we? No, not with all this food. Well, actually, not. Nah, roast this food up, bro. That stuff probably tastes good. You can keep the copper ones. Nice guy. Earth bending is forbidden. Okay, I, I haven't seen that? this. I only saw that that one clip because I don't know what the hell's going on right here. They could take Haru away, like they took his father. Uh, hopefully he's still alive. I'll make sure Appa doesn't eat all your hay. 
that stuff already gone, bro. You're like, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. That's good as too. <laughs> they rounded up my father and every other earthbender and took them away. That's a great so shot right there. The only way I can feel close to my father now is when I practice my bending. The boy twirling some balls. <laughs> My mother gave it to me. Oh, that necklace is fire. This necklace is all I have left of her. It's not enough, is it? No. Where's your father at? Help me! Oh, that back is gone, bro. There's no need to save him, bro. All that pressure on him, bro, that dude should be dead. There's a way you can help him. I can't. Please. There's, there's nobody, nobody here. Else. All you gotta do is just lift it up a little bit. You ain't gotta do too much. Just enough where we can pull him out. See, like, you didn't even have to do all that, but okay. The good thing nobody saw you. If they discover you're here, Aang, we'll be eating fireballs for breakfast. I'd rather eat fireballs than nuts. Dang, Good night. pause, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody don't want no freaking infested fireballs. I'm like, that boy need to go to a doctor. That's him. That's the earth pen. Damn, I saved your life and you snitch on me, you fucking old man. All right, bro. Next time I see you, it's up. Believe me, I'm gonna crush your damn back. Next time I see you with a big ass rock. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Are you kidding me? You can't do shit. That's why you can't be nice in this world, man. They're going to arrest me for earthbending. Uh, you can't earthbend, though. All Aang has to do is send an air current from that vent to this one right here. I mean, instead of earthbending, why don't you just waterbend? Won't they arrest you for that, too? Intentionally being captured by an army of ruthless firebenders? That's fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, man. Remember, he already got captured. Got off that ship with ease. You better back off. Seriously, back off. <laughs> he said, man, your breath stink. This wasn't part of the plan. Earthbending stuff. <laughs> I like this shot. It's like she was about to go morphin time. Lemur. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny as I think I remember seeing that. Momo, you have some big ears. <laughs> what? That was so random. Man, that looks like something you'll see in Lord of the Rings. If you simply abide. <laughs> man, man, you got all this ash and stuff here, bro. It's hard sense. to breathe. I, this rig is made entirely of metal. Oh, there's no earth over here, so they can't use their powers. This is my father, Tyro. Hey, that's what's up, yeah. man. I had a feeling this he was still Katara. alive. That's what's up. It's Have some dinner, Katara. Look like doo doo butter and dookie water. Like dookie nuggets. That voice sounds familiar. Anything to be up there jamming with the big boys. Man, there's so many voices here that I just. It sounds familiar, but I don't know exactly who it is. But we're powerless. Every child in my water tribe village was rocked to sleep with stories of the brave Earth Kingdom. It is the strength of your hearts that make you who you are. Girl, we're earth benders, not hand benders. You feel me? We we don't throw them hands, bro. We throw rocks. Well, sir, it looked like a flying bison. What? It was a giant flying buffalo, sir. Which was it? A buffalo or a bison? Uh, I'm not sure uh, what isn't the, it difference the same is, thing? but that's. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up the captain. Hey, why you had to do him like that? That was the captain you just threw overboard. Then wake up someone I haven't thrown overboard. This dude is cuckoo, bruh. I bet they're burning coal. In other words, Earth. Oh, damn. Didn't even think about it's that. Would they be able to, like, pull that through the metal, though? Oh, they can pull it through the vent. Do the same thing, but on a much bigger scale. There's the intruder! Stay back! I'm warning you! Damn, they Stop. came around you quick. There we go, baby. Let's go to war. Take it. Your fate is in your own hands. I mean, can't the firebenders just like burn that, bro? You thought a few inspirational words would change these people? People? <laughs> Their spirits were broken a long time ago, but you still believe in them. You are made of stupid. So that's all it took is just for somebody to throw a rock. Oh, uh, there we go. Like I said, bro, we are benders, not hand benders. Ooh. Hey, guys, throw me some coal. Oh, that's so smart. Hell yeah. I wonder why they didn't do that. They're freaking earthbenders. I can't swim. I hear cowards float. 
Oh, that's great, bro. I was really worried for that dude's dad. The Fire Nation will regret the day they set foot on our land. They must have overwhelmed y'all or something, caught y'all off guard or whatever. Because I don't know how the hell they took control of y'all in y'all own element. My mother's necklace. It's gone. How did you lose it? Well, there we go, everybody. Episode six is getting to episode seven, y'all. What would happen if we morphed together Momo and Gary? Find out after the break. Those clouds look so soft, don't they? Like you could just jump down and you'd land. Go ahead and try it. Maybe you should give it a try. Exactly. You're hilarious. <laughs> I'll try it. <laughs> like I said, I'm jealous, bro, because that dude can fly. It's the Avatar's job to protect nature. But I don't know how to do my job. Dude, they need Elsa up in here, man. Uncle? We need to move on. Man, I would love to be in a natural hot spring, but I heard them this is dangerous. I heated it myself. Oh, I was about to say, bro, what? Get out of the water. Very well. <laughs> on second thought, <laughs> why don't you take another few minutes? Why you have to be butt naked, bro? Are you ready to be cheered up? No. Hell. Damn. Hey, how is that cheering me? Zach, that's hurt, bro. <laughs> Cheered me up. Ow. <laughs> Every one of these will be a tall oak tree someday, and all the birds and animals that lived here will come back. Yeah, unless Momo take all of them, hungry self. <gasps> hey. Looking like the freaking thing from Ice Age. My village desperately needs your help. Oh, dang. Well, you're going to have to pay me. A spirit monster comes and attacks our village. As the solstice approaches, the natural world and the spirit world grow close. You are the great bridge between man and spirit. Uh, I haven't learned that power yet. Can you help these people? Have Hell no. Try, I think you can do it, Aang. We're all going to get eaten by a spirit monster. <laughs> uh, that's a wild assumption. Why would you fall asleep in the hot spring, though? <laughs> kind of cool how they get that set up right here, though. We can't sit here and cower while Aang waits for some monster to show up. You sound like I need the Witcher. Okay, that's terrifying. Ew, what the f is that? That is so scary. I, I think he's destroying a village for a reason. Aang will figure out the right thing to do, Sokka. Momo, big ear self, need to come out here and help me. I command you to turn around now! <laughs> that boy said, who the f you think you're talking to? Girl, watch your tone. Hey, bye! Over here! Boy, dick. That bony booty, though. Fight him together, Aang. I don't want to fight him unless I. Now he got him a sacrifice. My uncle's been captured by Earthbenders. Yo, that looks so cool. That looks like a different kind of animation right there. <laughs> what in the world? Yo, maybe that thing is uh, attacking the village because what happened to the forest right here? It probably think the people who living in that village did it. <laughs> I knew he did that on purpose. I would be shocked if the avatar returned without him. I returned without him. The sun is rising. Perhaps he what? No, Yeah, he soon. did look like he was blue. What? Oh, he in the no, different right realm. Spirit world. Oh, yeah, because he did touch them when they went into the spirit world. <laughs> yep, that's Uncle Iroh. <laughs> Got them corns. Smell like straight I'll be damned and ramen noodles. I can't airbend in the spirit world. Yeah, there's no air in the spirit world. That boy looks scary. Oh, snap, it's Roshi or whatever his name is. Avatar Roku's animal. Oh, Roku. Guide. Is there some way for me to talk to Roku? Man, you said, man, you ain't say nothing but a word. Hop on, bro. <gasps> what? He's able to see that? And these shackles are too loose. Too loose. So he must be one with the spirit world and our world. <laughs> I can't believe y'all really let this dude roll away. A comet? This dude got to wait a few days. Man, we ain't got time for all that. We have to do something now. Put him in a rock Answer. ball. The Avatar. Man, you better go after your uncle. You already know damn well you can't stop the Avatar by yourself, even though that's not the Avatar. These dangerous hands must be crushed. Oh my God. Did y'all really about to do that? Yeah. Boy, really kicked a rock like it was that easy. 
Excellent form, Prince Zuko. You taught me well. I like when a show and a movie have you cheer for the good guy and the bad guy. That was fire. I like how he did that. Now, would you please put on some clothes? Ah! We're just coming out of nowhere now, huh? You ain't coming through the entrance? You that disrespectful? Who's was the panda. I had a feeling this is probably what was going on. How are you feeling? Like I seriously need to use the bathroom. <laughs> I wonder how long it was for him. If only there were a way to repay. You could give us some supplies and some money. Exactly, bro. You gotta pay me for my services. Wait. There's a temple on a crescent-shaped island. The island is in the Fire Nation. Golly, bro. It just can't be so simple. Like, we just can't go to the North Pole, huh? We gotta do all this other sh all right, everybody, here we go with episode seven, y'all. Let's go ahead and get to episode eight. What do these two look like morphed together? We call them Mo Mary. Now back to the show. So get your big butt off the ground and let's go. I think his big butt is trying to tell you something. Well, we probably gotta use the bathroom. The world can't afford to lose you to the Fire Nation. I gotta talk to Roku, and I need Appa to stop being scary. Let's go. We got your back. Yeah. You'll have to fly fast to have any chance of making it before sun. Thank you for your- Go! Damn, all right, all right. You too then, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> seen the avatar lately? Nah, I mean, I've been seeing like a bump on my butt though. You can help me out with that. I'll be very much appreciated. Sailing into Fire Nation water. I'm chasing the avatar. My father will- Yeah, it's not like he's gonna kill me. Credit. My brother is not the understanding. Say, did he banish you too, or are you just here to mentor me and supervise me while I'm banished? God, couldn't you shoot them down with something more fake? <laughs> you cannot be talking, bro. Them stinky feet. If we fly north, we can go around the Fire Nation ships and avoid the blockade. Or if you go higher up in the sky, they won't be able to see you. You feel me? This must be my lucky day. Bro, I already embarrassed you shoot once, man. Do you want to get embarrassed again? But there's a Fire Navy ship out there, sir. One of our it. it belongs to a tra hmm, he called him a traitor. Okay, that's why he got banished. Oh, I can already tell this scene in live action is probably gonna be epic, man. Abba, are you okay? My biscuits are burning. Say hell no, nah, bro. My ass on fire, but you know, it's all good. Prince Zuko, the engines are dead. Do not stop this ship. You better blow up the oh. ship. There you go, you should have did this at first, bro. You wouldn't even have to worry about the damn ships firing at you. Ah! Good catch, Momo. You better not eat that whole damn thing too, bro. You better share. Hungry ass. Fire! Oh my God. Yo. Oh, that looks so freaking cool. But I bet a certain banished prince will know. Nope, you're wrong about that. Unless they like really? told him every you damn thing. Engines and let them pass. You did it, buddy. Should that answer my question right there? Cause I was thinking like, does this dude ever get tired when the, he's flying? We are the fire sages. Damn, so you about to just fight me? Commercial. I hold them off. Run. We ain't worried about these old Man, bro, look like they can barely freaking walk. Dang, and then they just started dipping. What the hell? Wrong way! <laughs> I don't want to fight. Why are you trying to attack me then? This better not be a trap. <sighs> better not have set me up, bro. I'm a beat yo. Throw some air up. In the past, the sages were loyal only to the avid. The sages eagerly awaited for the next avatar to return. They were waiting for me. I don't feel bad. So now they mad they had to wait so damn long? So they wanted to fight me? That's understandable. <laughs> the sages must open the doors to Huh? I think I can help you. Oh, the lantern's in there? Okay, that is smart. And ta-da! Fake fire bell. Y'all about to say, they didn't really go off all at the exact same time. Or maybe, you know, an explosion doesn't necessarily count. Why won't it open up? We walls bro this dude blowing wind at the wall get the whole thing shaking that blast looked as strong as any fire bending i've Fucker. 
You're a genius! Wait, how is Sokka a genius? Damn, Come you just on, call him an idiot what just because he didn't work? You're right. <laughs> Did the definition of genius change in the last hundred years? Damn. <laughs> Why are you disrespecting him like that? We've been tricked! No <laughs> way! <laughs> Damn, he's choking his ass out. The avatar's coming. What? When did you get here? <laughs> Bro, y'all are trash, man. He gets out of <laughs> being captured so easily every single time. It's good to see you, eh? You so mm, I don't like how you talking, bro. I guess the fire are kind of like slithering, bro. They just a lot of them were bad. Not all of them, though. Sooner or later, he has to come out. Well, you look like a monkey. So the comet made them stronger years ago. What does the comet have to do with the? Yeah, bro. Tell me what's up, man. You must defeat the Fire Lord before the comet arrives. I mean, so what, do I, I gotta like kill him or something? Cause me just beating his ass ain't gonna stop him from getting the power from the comet. How's Aang gonna make it out of this? How are we gonna make it out of Shoot, this? Shoot, I'm about to use my avatar powers. I can help you face the threat. I'm ready. Oh, I like that. That was hot. No. Boy looked like a monster when that door opened. Dang, he took the form of Avatar Roku. Oh, snap! Hey! Yo, that is so cool, man. Dang, so if you ain't gonna be able to beat the Fire Lord with this comet, especially at this level of power, that's insane. Yeah, hey, I was about to say, what the hell are you wearing? I was like, what is that? Oh, you be flying too low, man. I'll be making sure I'm flying super high where nobody can see me. That's a great shot right there. I like that. Dude, and that's where you end the episode on? All right, y'all, there we go. Episode eight, man. This episode was pretty fire. I loved how it ended. That was so epic. Cannot wait to hear y'all thoughts. I hope that y'all enjoyed watching this with me and you enjoyed this video. You know, please like the video, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you know when I upload videos. And follow me on all my social medias. Links will be down in the description below. What was your favorite episode out of these handful of episodes, man? All right, y'all, and there we we go man with the second part of avatar the last airbender i can't wait to get into more of these episodes man this has been fantastic it's getting juicy it's been hyping up man can't wait to hear your thoughts in the comments down below what other things should we watch you know movies and tv shows if you like to see my full length reaction to this show other shows i do movies i do you can click the link down below in the description to my patreon and with all that being said i'll see you on the next one all right peace